Hey what's going on guys, uh, today I will be teaching you how to make a tilt shift effect which is basically an effect that makes your images look uh, like miniatures. Uh, like this city here is in fact a real city and it's not a miniature but you can't be fooled because it has this effect applied. Or for example these cars and this bridge. And how do you achieve this uh, awesome tilt shift effect? It's really really easy, I've just prepared a few pictures for you guys. Uh, so first things first, you drag your image into Photoshop and you have it right here, background and you press Q on the keyboard, the, le the letter Q and it, will t and it will enter the quick mass mode here and now you go to your gradient tool and it's right above the paint bucket tool just press G on the keyboard and make sure you have a dual gradient selected, black and white for example and make sure you have the, re the reflected gradient selected and now while in quick mass mode if I click on a point and drag it will select a certain area in red and this is the mask and in this red area uh, the image will not be affected by the tilt shift effect it's, it's our area of interest and if I press Q again it will select all the area that wasn't in the area of interest and now we go to filter blur lens blur to apply our effect and check that out it looks just like a miniature let's just lower the radius a bit you can play with the settings here although the most important one is radius because if I like crank it up as you can see it blurs a lot of areas and so we're just gonna leave it at uh, 13 for now and check that out it looks really nice let's just deselect this look just like a miniature and let's try with this picture uh, so Q drag, select the area, Q again, filter, blur, lens blur, and voila, that looks really nice. Let's just crank the radius up a bit so it gives it more intense effect and check that out, that looks really, really nice. Let's select, deselect, and voila. That's about it for, the, for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want more of these tutorials make sure you comment on the video if you have any questions just pm me or leave a comment i always read my comments cheers